snip it like that. And you can either prop something underneath it or you can pull it out a little bit further so it completely stands tipped over so it doesn't fall back down. So in my case, this is not quite far enough because it's falling back down. I think I'll just prop it with something. Okay, so now that we got the washer propped up, we can now continue with cleaning our drain pump filter. If you have a door like this, after you put it down, if you just press down on these tabs, you should be able to just take that whole door out so it's not in the way. This little hose, usually there's a little plug in here. I guess the plug is missing, so the homeowner just tied it together with the wire to kink the hose, which works just as fine. But if you do have the plug, generally that hose is going to be going right here and sitting up on top. And what this hose is for, it basically bypasses the drain pump filter. So if your washer is full of water, you can take this little hose out, take the plug out, and drain as much water as you can that way before you take this main plug out. Because once you take this plug out, if the washer is full of water, there's going to be a ton of water that's going to gush out at you. And even if you drain it completely using this little hose, still, when you take this out, there will be some water. So be ready for that. Put a towel underneath your washer to catch as much of it as you can or have a wet vac handy. So I have a tip back. My washer doesn't have much water in it, or if it does, the water is going to be in the back of the washer now. And we can safely take this filter out and see what it looks like. And here you go. So as you can see, there's a bunch of gunk in here. There's toothpicks, plastic, and whatever else people leave in their pockets. Feathers, coins, bugs. But it's not completely plugged. This is actually not that bad. I see some that are completely plugged up, especially if somebody just washed a rubber back rug, you know, with the little plastic, or not the plastic, the little rubber little balls on the bottom of the rug that stick to the floor. That stuff tends to come off if you wash it in the washer and all that all those little white rubber beads end up inside of this drain plug filter and all over the hoses inside of the washer it just creates a big mess so once you have this filter out you just want to clean all that gunk out from inside of it if you have a rubber glove it's great or if you're not disgusted by all of that you can just grab it with your fingers I don't really like to and I typically don't have rubber gloves on me so I just use a screwdriver and maybe some needle nose pliers so you just kind of scrub that stuff out of there. Like hair and stuff in here. It makes everything st stuck to the sides of the filter. And that's where the needle nose comes in. If it gets stuck, you just yank it out. I went to a barber's house once. And this filter, a filter like this, was completely caked with a bunch of hair. And then inside of the filter, on the inside, there was just a roll, like a neat roll of dollar bills and five dollar bills. That's the only time I've ever seen that. A filter full of money. That was pretty cool. And it doesn't have to be super pristine and shiny, just so all that gunk is out of there. If you want it super clean, you could just rinse it underneath the faucet. So once you got it clean, you just got to put it back in, tighten it nice and snug, put everything back together, then you should be good to go. And if your threads have troubles getting started, like getting tightened down, a lot of times that means that there's some gunk inside of the threads. Or if you have a filter like this, this little notch right here has to line up with the tab that's inside of the housing there. After that lines up, then it'll tighten down real nice and easy you'll feel it. And there's little stoppers here that stop it once it gets tight enough and you can't over tighten it. And that's it. You get it all back together, you put the door back on. We'll take our washer prop off. And this washer will start to drain real quick. We got the washer down and pushed back in. And now let's just do a quick test. Let's go to normal. <laughs> 